Okay, so I have made it to Manila Airport. I'm in the lounge. It's really nice so far. Empty. So lots of choices and options. And I've actually signed up to have a shower after the long flight from Vancouver, Canada to Manila. And then what happened was the few of us that were from uh, Vancouver, we had to go, even though we're transiting to another like flight from the airport, we had to do a security check. So we waited about 45 minutes, gave in our passports, which to be honest with you, made me feel a little bit uncomfortable to let my passport go to one of the uh, customer service agents well their security team ran our passports and our history and all that stuff but it worked out and then we had a quick shuttle to this terminal which is terminal 2 I do recommend if uh, the price is right to get business class uh, the flight to here was good there is somebody beside you uh, versus Singapore Airlines I had nobody next to me and it was a larger seat um, larger kind of hangout area in the airplane uh, but this one was good the food was fantastic the crew was great and side tip I brought like maple syrup candies for the flight crew and they really appreciated it and appreciated it and it actually um, I I feel that I got a little bit of extra service for that. I'm not saying it was because of that, but I believe everyone came up to me and thanked me for it uh, and appreciated it. So there's nothing wrong with tipping flight attendants or giving them some candies or whatever. Uh, just a thought, putting it out there. I'm excited to have another trip to Thailand. I'm looking forward to it and I'll uh, record what I can for you. Guess what? I'm back. Look at the smile. I'm back in Phuket. Oh my gosh, it's awesome. So I just took about three flights to get here. Um, I'm just so happy to be here. I'm at Dua, Dewa. Uh, resort for two nights. Oh, I'm so excited that I'm back and the weather is warm right now and I'm in pants which sucks but uh, it was a really good uh, travel journey to get here. So let's look at the room I'm in. 4201. There we go. Pretty much the same thing as I had last time just a different angle. Same thing so around the corner You've got all your storage and kit that they lend you, which is fantastic. Um, I got the king size bed, which is great. And this is what I packed, and I still think I packed too much. I didn't want to take this one. I wanted just to have two, and I think that one's too bulgy. And I need to even trim it down more because I want to be more mobile on the motor scooter and not have three bags. And I thought, oh, I'm just gonna pack like two shorts and two tanks and two whatevers and yeah, it didn't really work. Um, because then whatever you don't pack, you end up buying here, which is fine. Um, and then I could leave it here with friends or what have you. I, I just don't like the fact that I think I overpacked already, but I am here for quite a while. I'm here for about five or six weeks this time. So it's a little longer than last time. This is the exact same layout as the other one, just different different side yeah same corner here's a bathroom we checked it out before nice shower rain shower and wand they've got their own brand of conditioner shampoo and shower gel and your one door to close the bathroom off or to close the toilet off which is still really cool and what does my outside look like so there we go easy Okay, I don't know which area this is. But it's nice and I'm not complaining at all. I'm definitely going to get into some shorts now and think about something to eat for dinner. Um, my friend, Kundang, as you know, his uh, one of his sons picked me up from the airport, which is very nice. Um, so if you're coming here, what I'll do is I'll post a link below with the actual taxi service that they run. So you know it's a legit thing. 
Um, and in the end, if you wanted to even have just Kundang take you on tours and such, um, he's a really good person that knows the whole, the whole area. But let's get you started with the taxi service. And actually on the car, it says taxi service. Okay, so Kun Birin, yep. you have a taxi company. You can pick people up from the airport yep. and bring them to wherever. And this is the name of it. Yeah. And you are you on the online? Yep, uh, online and then uh, Messenger or uh, Facebook. Too. Yeah. Oh, on Facebook too. Okay, share that with me, and then I'll put it in my video. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Kun Birin, I need to just absorb this that I'm back. This place, I just I, I gotta move here. I gotta move here. You guys, consider retiring here. You gotta move here. I will see you soon. It's dinner time in Thailand, Nyang Beach. Um, I'm at Penn's restaurant. I'll show you the menu in a, in a second here because Kun Dang's restaurant wasn't open. Um, but uh, Penn's restaurant, I've been to many, many times in the past and all the tables at the beach are taken so I couldn't sit at the beach. Uh, but it's good, I mean, it's been a, tiring day or so of travel so i really don't care if i'm not at the beach right now it's dark anyway i'm gonna get some dinner and tomorrow we'll set up a motor uh, motor scooter motorbike uh get some things done and go from there there's a lot of pages of food here and i just started with something refreshing they got lots of smoothies and shakes and things like that. Uh, but I'm getting this fruit plate right here. Mixed fresh fruit plate, 150. So from a Canadian dollar standpoint, if we're using the rule of four to one, that would be what, $6. And I think uh, that's a fantastic price for, for this fruit plate, that's for sure. And then down the pages, they have all the Thai food and soups and things and rices and stuff. So it's a great menu. Penn's restaurant, Nyang Beach. Okay, so that was very delicious at Penn's. So I had that fruit plate, I had spring rolls, and I had chicken satay. And then I had my prow, which is awesome. That's the coconut, just pure coconut. And this one was really sweet. Total bill, now this isn't, uh, you know, street food. This isn't on the side of the road, cart food, super cheap. So I did spend, the, the bill came to 510 baht. So with the rule of four, that would be uh, just over, just call it just over $20 or $20. Um, and I'm okay with that. I'm on vacation, doesn't matter. I'm not trying to eat under a budget, but I will do a video like that at some point. <clears throat> and then, um, you know, they're service workers, so I give a tip. Uh, I don't know how much to give. I'm so bad at tipping, um, not knowing how much to give. I gave a total of 700 out of 510, so 190 bot tip. So that's like technically, oh my gosh, that's actually a lot. That's like $8 just about on a $20 bill. So maybe that was too much. I'm not sure. But in the end, I want to, you know, help out where the air economy has fallen but things have opened up now there's a lot more tourists here so things will pick up for them and i feel tipping is important i just don't never know how much to tip so clearly i probably tip too much but whatever i'm walking back to daywa resort gonna grab a motorbike tomorrow then go to my friend's boat and grab uh, my helmet for the motorbike and carry on have a great night Okay, so I'm back at Bread and Butter, which is connected kind of out front to the Dewa Hotel at Nyang, right across from the beach. 
Uh, and I'm gonna try the Eggs Benedict. One of the YouTube uh, subscribers or the, somebody who viewed my channel sent me an email asking uh, or saying, I hope you try the Eggs Benedict in the bread and butter. They are lovely with the salmon. Would have been even better if they were served on half muffin, but the brown bread was okay. And that was by Papillon Man. So thank you, Papillon Man. And I have just ordered the Eggs Benny uh, on the brown bread. I tried to ask them for some other kind of bun or something. I pointed to like a hamburger bun and they said, no, brown bread. I'm like, okay, I'll try it out. Uh, and I also have my cappuccino to go along with it. There we go. So I will get back to you with how I found the Eggs Benny. And I was thinking, I wonder if I should do like a Benny tour. I love Eggs Benedict and there's so many restaurants that offer like breakfast with Eggs Benedict. Maybe I'll do a Benny tour or a channel dedicated to Benny's. Yeah. Right, we got the Benny served. Let's see how it goes. It's a big piece of bread. with Papillon Man. I agree with you. The bread is thick and it's overpowering the entire Benny scenario. Um, but the smoked salmon's really good. It comes with salad. Uh, but I definitely would suggest that they change with the bed of what the Benny goes on to. Uh, but it will suffice for now. So uh, I'm going to get back to this and See you guys later. All right. So I was quite bold and I made the suggestion for their consideration to change out that. Dude, Papua man, that bread must have been like, you know, six inches. Right? It was thick and <clears throat> definitely took away from the Benny experience itself. So I made the suggestion and I even showed pictures of like English muffin or like a focaccia bread thing or a sourdough. I mean, there's so many cool different kinds of uh, beds for the Benny to be on. So she took it well, I think, and uh, said she would pass along the comments of which I may do a review on Google. I'm a Google reviewer as well. 2.4 million views already which is kind of cool. So I made you that, but uh, I definitely am now down for doing a Benny tour. Yeah, I think so. And uh, I don't know if it'll be this trip or when I move here, uh, but it's it's gonna happen. Do I recommend the Benny? It, by the way, it was a Benny smoked salmon, the bread. Uh, I came with that little, <clears throat> excuse me, the salad. And I think baked beans, which I had a little fork full, but wasn't that cool. I would say for the price, whatever it is, like 250 baht or something, which for you, it's like $10, good price. However, I would spend that somewhere else for a better tasting, better quality Benny. Quality was good, sorry. Maybe just, you know, this is serious. Benny is serious. Breakfast food is serious. I'm a brunch guy. Love breakfast food. Pancakes, they're the best. Benny, next in line. <clears throat> so, that's my report from the Eggs Benedict from Bread and Butter next to Dewa, Nyang Beach, December 2020. Duh. On to the next one.
yeah, so it's Thailand raining a lot. I'm at Mojo. <laughs> Gonna hang out here for a while. The rain hasn't let up yet, and it's getting busy here as well. There's Dang in the white shirt. Everyone's out of the rain. All right, the menu at Mojo. Drink menu first, of course. You're serious? You did a good no job. No one help me, you know. I see that. Nobody is no, uh, doing. Well, good. hire people or hire me. I don't want to. I'll, do, I'll volunteer. To teach them. I volunteer for free. No problem. So, lots of stuff on the menu at Mojo with Rina in charge. I, I, uh, this menu, no good. I like to do meal. Oh, we're gonna cheers. Kudang, you're the best. Thank you. Chokti. Chokti. Rina, what's wrong with the Everything menu? wrong. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Uh, She's hilarious. <laughs> Oh, love it. Okay, so I'm gonna eat some stuff and drink some stuff. Cow pad kung, which is stir fry rice with prawn uh, with a spoon. You gotta eat in Thailand with a spoon. That's the primary instrument. Okay, and the next course is Arena's Infamous. Pad Thai, like the real deal Pad Thai. And then tomorrow is detox day number one. This is not the right pre-detox I'm supposed to do. Okay, until next time.